the format of being robot. Here we are, we've made it this far. The finale and the final nail that shoved sci-fi into a frenzy to cancel the show entirely. On Halloween of 2015, Weed Master 12, Resident Evil Fan 2005 and Pogo Cube 76 uploaded three segments of the finale's trailer before Sprung Free Studios uploaded one last video before Sci-Fi shut them down. The fifth and last episode of the series, Robotronicle, The Gods of Junk Mountain, the finale that happened after the fourth episode. However, the intro of the finale started with a montage of the last four episodes before the same voice, the pipe organ voice from before, said a new line. Welcome to Giant Mountain. The three all stared in awe, horrified awe. What is this? F rank said, looking around. T700 ominously held out an arm and said, Welcome to what could be called as the graveyard of us robots if we are smashed in Robotronicle. C9 looked at the top. I think there's someone on the top. F rank noticed it too. C9's right. We need to go to the top, but in order to do so, we need to climb. It snaps to black and then cuts back to the three walking around the desolate landscape. Thick, smelling oil were coating the three's ears, making the three cover their noses with their gas masks, which made their voices slightly muffled. We'll need to start climbing on the first area of the mountain. T700 said, pointing to a convenient ramp. Each of them climbed the mountain. Transparent fluent blue sweat leaked their faces as they kept climbing. The first obstacle, three strange robotic gremlins, which ironically look like tectites. The robotic tectites noticed the trio and let out a very loud robotic hiss. One charged at T-700 and gave a kick, sending T-700 flying back. C-9, F-Rank, get your guns. T-700 screamed. The two nodded as F-Rank pulled out dual electric pistols and C-9 pulled out a sawed-off electric shotgun. Each gun made an electric pew sound, almost like the Star Wars blasters. The tectites suddenly fell from being shot, light blue blood oozing out as some collapsed on the side of the mountain. The screen snaps to black and then shows the three characters at a slightly higher point of the mountain. The trio were drenched in sweat, with T-700 audibly panting and wheezing loudly. T-700, you're overheating. F rank shouted, as him and C9 held T700's arms. As soon as they reached a point, the two sat T700 on the side of the mountain. T700's voice was glitchy, only from the overheating causing the robotics in his system to malfunction. F rank, C9, I don't know where I'll be alive. This may just be my brain. A faint bang was heard as the three stopped and looked over. F rank pulled out a black substance and poured it on T700. Instantly, he felt better. We better move. I think I hear the bang more. T700 said, as he and the others raced onto the top. When they arrived, they found a dilapidated looking base. There was text on the door that said, RMGU base. T700 went pale as he looked over. F rank and C9 looked at T700. What is it? F rank asked. Yeah. C9 asked. A sudden suspenseful build-up music was playing in the background before it stopped as T700 whispered. The base is known as the Robotronic Woman the Mill Graveyard Undertaker Base. A loud music sting was heard as the two gasped. But it was down in 3165. F rank screamed in shock. I they retired. C9 added. T700 brushed the door as he sighs. I think they're still alive. T700 said as he gripped the door and forced it open. A loud squeak was heard before a loud thud was heard. The thudding. T700 said as he and the two entered. The two explored the base, admiring the old papers and splatters of dark blue blood on the walls. This is like a blood bath. F rank said to T700. There was an experiment 
called TR45-89X, which experimented with actual humans to make them more like us, us robots. T700 said, eyeing a document of the last diary entry which was dated, 4562, the date when the experiment took place. A loud scatter noise was heard as the three jumped and looked. When they moved a piece of wood, they noticed something. A robotic spider head with a natural robotic and bony spider legs with ten eyes. The creature noticed the trio and let out a loud hiss before scattering. The three raced into the doors and found the main lab. Everything was torn apart. All of the robotic scientists were slashed, gutted, or completely mangled, each body showing a horrible and ungodly mass of blood and robotic guts. What happened? F rank said, horrified. T700 sighed before saying. This is what happens when people experiment. Everyone looked around the desk before finding a piece of paper that said, Robotronical is dead. C9 gasped. Could this be we were all dead? He said, horrified. No, this could be we we'll just need to accept it. This is where our journey stops. Dead in its tracks. F rank said mournfully. The three walked outside of the base and sat on the ground, looking at the decrepit junk mountain. The screen cuts to black before F rank's voice is heard saying, This is our city, known as Robotronical. After the last episode, Sci-Fi cancelled the show and took down every single channel connected to the series. The only source of finding these episodes are recollections I've found. However, more things have been found about Robotronical including a cancelled PlayStation 2 video game, a cancelled spin-off show called, Tales from Robotronical, and a brief promo picture of the cancelled season 2 picture used in 2016's San Diego Comic Con. To this day, Robotronical remains as lost as the ending of the series finale, dead in its tracks and accepts its death.